Blessed day, my people. So today we have some good news on Kayla and Dowdy's progress. And that's the 17-year-old girl where they get attacked by six females at a party. And I also see the news saying that five of the females them get charged. Now I do not hear any news like say another one is on the run. So I wonder if a five females really did attack her and not six. But either way, five of them get charged. So I'm glad so we get some good news on that side. Now we're also getting some good news from the mother. You know, she'll tell her what's going on with her daughter and thing. And comparing this video to the last video that her mother did, my kind of sister, she have a little more relief. You understand, people? Remember, still, you know, they are not out of the woods yet, you know. Because in this video, her mother also talk about a lot of fake pages. I mean, I talk about us, the um, donation page, you know, the GoFundMe page. People start make um in Instagram pages name after her daughter and they might try I guess they might try use that for scam you understand so I don't really understand warm to them people there eh? her mother says she shut down must be four pages so far you understand um I don't know people just seem like them desperate for just make money anyway or them can now anyway some of the stuff them with the mother make could know is for one her daughter is more responsive from the last time basically when you call her name she look on you now which means that she kind of start recognize you a bit more and stuff like that she kind of start acknowledge her name now because i remember say first time none of that never did a go on you know you understand people so the progress is being made slowly but surely but sadly she is still not breathing on her own you see me, they have to have her upon machine for her help with her breathing. So I just want her breathing for come on the right way. You understand the message, people? But of course, you know that God is in charge of everything and we can't rush the progress. Some things take longer than some. And one of the things that I respect with her mother is that she believes in God strongly. And I think that I one of the things that I'm going to help her pull through this. You see, once you have faith in God, you can't go wrong. And me is a God-fearing person. That's why I always talk about God in my videos. Them From your trust in him, you can't go wrong. You understand me as a people? But yeah, man, I'm going to play the video now so you can hear what the mother is saying. And as I say, people, I don't want to stop praying. I want to pray, 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 pray. Because slowly but surely this girl shall live. And she will. The next time I tell you, know, people, the next time when I come and I talk about this, when I go hear me, I tell you, know, say she'll breathe her for her own. Trust me, it is coming on, it is coming on, and once again, it is coming on. Anyway, let's get to the video now so you can hear exactly what her mother have to say. Oh, Kaylan is, she's not doing badly. She's doing, she's moving forward. I am pleased, Um, you know. Yes, we are not out of the woods. We are not where we want to be. We are not, you know, as yet. But we are giving God thanks for the little blessings that we do have. She's still um, still on the ventilator, still not breathing on her own. We are trusting God for a miracle where her breathing is concerned. Um, yeah, we're, 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 we're trusting God for a miracle where that is concerned. Um, she, however, she is responsive. Um, she opens her eyes just the same when I enter the room and I call her name. She's now looking at me. She can see me, yes. Her eyes are dilating. So that's a plus for us as well. Um, you know, she's slowly um, a bit more alert. So, you know, um, we're heading in the right direction. So some, some, some form of healing is happening there and we are... Trust me, you guys might think it's it's not that big, but when you go into a hospital room and you see your child just laying there, not moving, not responding, not doing anything, not breathing, unconscious, she can't recognize you, she can't recognize anybody, she can't focus, she can't look at you. It's heartbreaking. So the minute I saw her looking and I saw that she looked, Hey, I'm through the roof. I jumped and I behaved like an idiot in that hospital. And the nurses laughed at me. But hey, I am, um, you know, I'm forever grateful. Um, yes, so and Walker, God is great. God is awesome. God is awesome. He is, you know. And, you know, I have been telling her about you guys. You know, how much you guys been showing her love. Because she can hear me. She can hear me. Um, I, I've been telling her about the support. I tell, I 
talk to her every day and tell her what's going on in this in this in this world around her and how much you guys are outpouring you know the concerns and the love and everything yeah said i wasn't gonna be long because <laughs> it's after 10 and i know everybody wants to go to bed and you know yes i'm trusting the process because you know it's not our time it's god's timing and we have to let him work we have to trust God and put all our faith in God and know that we have to let him do what is best. Because God knows best. Not even, you know, he gives doctors wisdom and skill to do what they, you know, they learn and memory to work from. But he's, he's the big man. God is the big man. He's the healer, the doctor. You know, he's the nurse, he's, he's, he's everything, right? So, and, and as long as we trust God and we put all our faith in him, he will deliver us. And then, come on, the whole world is praying. So God must, his, his ears are ringing with Kaylan's name. So, you know, I believe he's answering our prayers. I believe he is, he's listening. Yeah man, so as I say, I'm mother that's a give you a good update. I'm a love this update. I love the news where me I get and thing, you see me? I me know a lot of persons are supposed to feel better. Even though as I said before, people, we are not out of the woods yet. But everything just, you know, slowly but surely I come together. I mean even see our mother post up a picture with her on Instagram and she said, My baby is a fighter. She never gives up and she never quits. She will overcome. And this I want to love people. The confidence that her mother have is extremely powerful. I don't think you understand how powerful this is. You get my people. But mommy just go and hold the feet. And nobody watch the people and make a bag of fake page and I try to take food out of your daughter plate or half of your daughter plate. That not going to happen. You understand? I don't care how much fake page come. The whole of them will come through. They will get shut down one way or the other. So it never make no sense them bother create them. Because for one, the real people them, the real supporters them, who not going to report them page. And me I tell you not to report them. Because you must be a heartless person for do something like that. For see somebody that go through such a critical thing. And really, I go try, you know, deceit the person, them, you know, try to use them pictures for gain your benefit, basically. But as I said, people, God is always with us. So no matter how much the evil people, them try, them now go win, you see me? But leave in the comments and make me know when you think about this. And as I said, people, just go and say some prayers for you. Um, yeah, and if you can't donate, because then everybody have money like that. Just make sure you say it in our prayers. Because prayers even better than money. But of course, you know, Santa, everything the doctor them can do for free or them will do for free, you're going to need money for do certain things. You get my people. You know, just go and stay safe and protect your children them. Because I tell you, man, this world here, the world not cruel still, you know. I do some people are in it, you know. You see me? The world is a beautiful place, you know. But you just have some, you know, some heartless people out there. Boy, all something like this, man. Oh, them, look how them just make the woman have to go through a whole heap of things now. All of this could have been avoided if the woman them just... You know, if them they just walk away, leave the girl alone, man. That's why I'm not sorry for none of you. Them for just lock you up in there and just dash with the key. You see me? Anyway, people, bless up on yourself, you know. I'm out.